Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video. I'm trying to record the audio directly into the uh, editing software that I use, so hopefully it sounds right. I'll try to listen back to it, and if it doesn't sound too bad, then this will be the audio that you hear. But this was the uh, heavy day of the week. I pushed up on the weights a little bit more with the kind of rule in mind that one, I wasn't going to use straps. I wasn't going to use any wrist straps or anything on my knees and just kind of push to what I felt like was not necessarily comfortable to what was more so possible. I was pleasantly surprised looking back at these clips about the speed of which um, I was moving. I certainly wasn't feeling very great, but I felt like I was moving pretty well, which is interesting. Uh, the worst uh, pain that I was going through was kind of actually my right hip, which was um, kind of interesting. My uh, quad tendons and all of that were kind of sore, but nothing that was really uh, preventative of anything. But I was really happy to be able to you know, snatch this. And then I went up to 105, and here is the uh, only miss that I had. And I know exactly why I missed, and it was because I was thinking way too much about what I was trying to do, and not just trying to do the lift. And you can see here, lifts look fine. I had to step forward a little bit, right, or uh, left shoulder is a little bit iffy. But then I repeated the weight, was make it, able to make it look a little bit better. And I thought, well, I could do 105 again, but I want to do 110, so that's what I did. I shifted over to the left, but my uh, arm was actually pretty stable when I caught it. And I cut it off there because that one definitely felt difficult to do. And I'm kind of using that as a metric too. Is any sort of like shoulder instability or kind of drifting like that it's a good kind of mark to try to get better at so each of these like heavy days of the week uh, to push up to a weight like that that's comfortable that maybe there is some technical breakdown but it isn't anything that's um, too terrible and if I do miss like that 105 I know exactly why I miss and I can come back and fix it and on that one it was purely mental it wasn't even <laughs> A technical I think I'm, I was early on the lift from a technical standpoint but it was 100% uh, mental while he missed clean and jerks were definitely tough to mentally do <laughs> because my legs were sore but they are actually moving pretty well and when I was looking at the clips as I was working up I was pleasantly surprised with uh, just the speed of how fast I was moving under how fast I was standing up and just the the lift overall just looked relatively comfortable even though I was kind of pitching forward uh, when I was standing up the cleans, that's just a uh, upper body, upper back weakness and leg weakness. Um, I went from 100 to 120, up to this 130. Not the easiest clean, but my legs aren't super strong right now. Was pretty happy with this jerk. Definitely a pretty decent jerk. So I felt pretty motivated to give 140 a crack. Um, I figured I'd do, be able to do the clean, and if I did a good enough clean, which I was able to do there, then I would have a pretty good attempt at the jerk. And honestly, I was pretty happy with how this jerk looks, seeing how I don't have any you know, equipment on, and that certainly helps me a lot more on uh, clean jerks than it does with the snatch. But 140 is kind of a good benchmark there, and hopefully each week we'll be able to make the 110 and the 140 look a little bit easier and easier. That's kind of the what I think will be more so the goal in this heavy day, is not to really push too much past those you know maybe if I they, they go really great then to eventually push past them a little bit but more so to try to make them look precise and make them look easy same kind of thing with these front squats I think originally they're only supposed to be 120 but because I kind of pushed up everything I figured I would see if I could do 140 and then decided to push to 160 which um, looked better than 140 which is odd I then ended to work out with some pulls I think I was originally gonna go to 140 with these but they weren't feeling very fast. Um, it's hard to really describe. They just didn't feel like they're in a good like groove of them. So I pushed up decently to towards that 140. But once I did 130, then I decided just to cut it off there. Uh, and this workout was just singles uh, because on the other days of the week, there are repetitions for the pulls. This is kind of like the quote unquote like heavy single day of the week. So this is the most like intense that a workout will go. Um, relative to other other days of the week. I forget what I'm supposed to do the next day. I think tomorrow's like a recovery day, so I'll probably actually lift pretty light because I went a bit heavier this day and I'll probably need to 
make sure I'm extra recovered. But honestly, like besides the kind of normal aches and pains that I have, I feel pretty good after this workout, which is uh, interesting. And I like, it's hard to really describe to you, but like cognitively, I feel pretty good. Like usually I would have these like crazy sessions and I push beyond where I should. And then I just get like emotionally drained after these sessions, but I feel pretty ready to train tomorrow. And to just keep kind of building, that's kind of what I'm think is the goal or at least the focus is not so much on getting to a particular weight on any particular day but just to chip away and just kind of continue to build up and honestly the fact that I am doing everything without any uh, wrist wraps or knee wraps or uh, knee sleeves or anything like that it's really motivating to me the fact that you know I'm not really like going through extreme amounts of pain without them or um, anything's getting too worse and um, the most interesting thing I think right now is that my wrists feel fantastic so that part's really nice because my left one was particularly very achy for a while but now I don't really have any discomfort in them so hopefully I just keep progressing and uh, keep having good workouts because obviously that's the goal but that's it for this one uh, talk to you on the next one have a great day peace